Hey, yo, what it do, Nine Empire TTC YouTube? A tie? Really? Wow. I, I guess all things considered, it could have been worse. We really had no business winning that game. The Niners, at least the first three quarters, we didn't come ready to play. The Rams did, and... I don't know if it was a bye week or whatever. I mean, the Rams had a bye week as well, same week as us, and they came out. They came out ready to play, and the Niners just didn't. So, whatever reason, the Niners coming out looking real pitiful like that in the beginning, you know, just remains beyond me. It, pretty much the whole game was just sad. <laughs> sad, you know, if you were a Niners fan. Um, not that I was overconfident with this game, but I, I definitely didn't expect this. I, I, I really didn't. Um, I didn't expect us to climb from a 14 to nothing deficit. And, and maybe I did take the Rams too lightly, you know, a little more lightly than... I should have, and, uh, you know, props to you Rams fans out there, I know, Money Mike, shout out to you, you guys bought it, you guys bought it, and, you know, I, you know, much respect to you guys, your team, and, you know, I guess we're going to do it again in a few weeks down in St. Louis, always a classic game when it comes to the Niners and the Rams, you know, I mean, we've been, we've been doing this for years, I mean, you know, even back to the days when the Niners were at Keysar and you guys were still playing in L.A. So, um, you know, props to you guys for a good game. And, <laughs> wow. Um, but overall, as a game, like I said, the Niners just look really pitiful out there today. Um, defensively. We look like shit. Steven Jackson was pretty much almost able to do almost anything with us. And I couldn't tell if that was him or Marshawn Lynch. And, you know, not, you know, taking anything away from Steven Jackson. But, I mean, him and Brother Lynch, man, they they, they look they look like twins. So, I'm just saying. But, um, you know, needless to say, Steven Jackson... He beasted. He got 101 rushing yards against us. Amendola just killed us. He just killed our secondary. Was able to do whatever he wanted to. And, you know, as the game went on, I was like, you know, we got to keep tabs on him. And, you know, unfortunately, he was still able to get his. Um, offensively. You know, like I said, Alex Smith knocked out with a concussion. You know, in comes Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick had, I think like the first few series, had a little trouble getting into a rhythm. But um, the last three drives of the, I think, of the, the second half, he started getting it together, was, you know, making precise passes. And, of course, you know, as he does every now and then, makes plays with his legs and he was actually able to keep us in the game and you know for for first time getting a real extensive look i mean he didn't have the perfect game and there's still some things he can improve on like he missed a wild open Kyle Williams on one play that you know would have got us a touchdown so there's stuff that he can still improve on but you know for his first time you know getting in some real action I thought he did a solid job. Um, he did everything he could to, you know, keep us in the game. Frank Gore, another solid game. I think he had 97 rushing yards. Also had, um, I think, 18 receiving yards as well. So Frank Gore did what he could. Um, early on, I thought the Rams did a really good job of locking up on him. And I think as, you know... You know, as the game wore on, I think he was able to find some holes, you know, a little bit easy there. Um, 
the one other thing that troubled me in this game was the special teams. And I know y'all have heard that saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Well, no, excuse me. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. And, you know, two, not one, but two fake punts that we got burnt for. Now, the first one, you know, I'll give credit to the Rams. They were deep in their own territory. And, you know, I saw a defenseman on, on like, the, the flat guy or whoever the guy is at the end. Um, just, you know, when the ball was snapped, come rushing in for the block. And right when I saw him rush in, I was like, are you sure that's a good idea? Because right there, the punter saw it and hit him, and the Rams got a first down, and the drive continued. So, you know, that was on us right there. The second one, uh, before the Rams um, retook the lead, uh, regulation, I, I don't know why we didn't expect a fake right there. That was just, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I told myself I needed at least a day to get on here and, you know, talk about this game and because you know me, usually I get on here right away and, you know, just speak my mind or whatever. But after yesterday, I, I needed I needed some time to talk about this game. And I really don't know how to feel. I mean, we didn't win. We didn't lose. But... There's a little bit of me that just thinks that we blew a golden opportunity. I mean, the Giants lost, the Falcons lost, uh, the Bears lost. So this was an opportunity for us to move up in the standings. And, well, I, I guess if you want to look at the glass half full, I guess we gained half a game. I guess that's something. But... You know, I, I'm. You know, I, I'm definitely bummed about a tie. We had no business winning this game, and. But the one thing I will say is I do like the fact that, you know, we got down early and we kept fighting, and in the end of the day, that's all I really ask for is that, you know, we don't give up, and we didn't do that. We fought back and. You know, we could have pulled it off. You know, maybe if, you know, we do a couple of things different. Maybe if Akers doesn't shake that 41-yarder in overtime. So, or not spot anybody a 14 nothing lead. So, obviously, there's a lot of room for improvement for this 49ers um, offensively. You know, I, I like to see a little bit more consistency. Uh, I don't know what the deal is going to be with Alex Smith and his concussion. I guess, you know, as the week goes on, we'll find out more. But, you know, if somehow Alex, Alex can't go Monday night against the Bears, I guess it's going to be the Colin Kaepernick show, and he's just going to have to step up. So, and, you know, defensively, I, I, I don't know what it is, but it just seems like our defense just – seems to be a little off than where we were last year. I mean, missed tackles and, you know, missed tackles, missed assignments, and I'm, I'm not panicking yet, but, you know, it's just an area of need that I feel that, you know, the defense is just going to have to tighten up a little bit more. Um, you know, with the exception of Alden Smith, I don't think we're getting... You know, I think we're getting a little bit of pressure on the quarterback, but I don't think that we're finishing the job rushing the quarterback. I mean, Allen Smith, he had a couple sacks. He's at nine and a half now this year, which is uh, third best in the league. But, you know, I, I just think the defense needs to tighten up. I think we're going to be okay. Um, we've got a neck. Um, Tough game Monday night against the Chicago Bears. 
they have a great defense as well. They're creating a lot of turnovers. So our offense is going to be on lockdown. And hopefully, you know, our defense can expose that. Um, the one area where the Bears, I feel, have a weakness is their offensive line. So hopefully we can make this where we, it was like the Arizona Cardinals where we could take advantage of that weakness and try to get at either Jay Cutler or Jason Campbell because Jay Cutler suffered, you know, he, he suffered a concussion as well. So I, I don't know what his status is, but, you know, if he can't go, Jason Campbell will go. So, yeah, all right, that, that's pretty much all I got. So we had no business winning this game, but it could have been worse. I guess I'll settle for a tie, even though I don't, I feel weird about it, but I guess it's better to be six two and one than six and three. So, all right, I'll get with y'all next time. Late.